Greetings, this is Daniel Percedo for Adobe Photoshop and Creative Cloud Update with 3D Printing. I walked through some of the other workflows earlier. Under the 3D menu, there was the 3D Print Settings, the 3D Print, and 3D Print Utilities. 3D Print Settings will take you directly to the Properties panel and offer all these new variety of things you can do with 3D Printing. So in this case, we were set to local, and I was going through all the local parameters. I can run through them really quickly. These are the printers that are supported. And this is the printer volume. You can change that to centimeters, millimeters, et cetera, whatever you're comfortable with. The high, medium, and low for setting uh, the detail level of the model. Um, that way you can iterate more quickly. If a simple, simpler model may print a good bit faster than the high detailed one. Shows a print volume area of where the printer can print to. And the scene volume, this is the size of the model in the scene. In this case, I could say maybe four inches, and these are a little bit larger. Or scale to print volume, and it will automatically choose the maximum height or width uh, or depth that you need to fill that space. Support structures, in this case, I'm printing locally. So on my printer, I would choose scaffolding, which builds an array of scaffolds and supports so that you can print these things that are in, in the middle of space here. And you can choose raft as well if you want to print something that you think may need additional support. So right now, I'm gonna go and work on the Shapeways one. That's what we wanna talk about right now for this video. And when you select Shapeways, and this is an online service that you could print multiple materials. In this case, you can see all these sets of materials. And there is a possibility to estimate the price as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And it's gonna build the model very, very quickly here and give us a an estimate of what these prices might be. And as prices fluctuate constantly in the markets, we try to get within you know a few percentages of, of what is act, what it actually might be. So if it's off you know by a couple of nickels, then it you know it shouldn't be that big a hit. In this case, for a Lumide, it's gonna be $344. And some of these things will be shocking at first when you start looking at some of these numbers. You know, full color sandstone is $149. And if I choose that, for example, let's go ahead and choose that one it's gonna give me the full color look of the model. It'll retain the textures and things like that. These other materials are single materials, they're single colors. And in this case, this is polished nickel and raw silver. And if I change the size of this model, it'll, re it'll have to recalculate that. You have to go through that process again. Now we automatically do that. I'm gonna go ahead and say full color sandstone and walk through the process here. And then I'm gonna click here, this is the icon to say start print. And it's gonna do the same thing basically it did earlier. But this, you know, it's gotta repair the model, fix the holes, and do all the things it needs to do to prepare it for a 3D printer. And when it's done, we'll go ahead and walk through the process of going to Shapeways. So here we go, this is a, a guess of what it will look like. It's a pretty good approximation, it's the geometry. And it's $163, this is the size, and I think I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and send it. So I'm gonna say export. I'm gonna throw this to my desktop here. It's gonna export a VRML file that's zipped because that's what the Z Corp printers uh, that, that do these kind of color sandstones receive. And to complete the order process, you must upload your file to Shapeways. I do wanna do that. Do I wanna go there now? Of course I do. So, hey, welcome, you're here. Now select your file, upload your design. This is actually me. I'm gonna select my file. And it is da -da 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 -da, Lego Adobe WRL World Zip. Don't you love the way that sounds? Now I'm gonna say upload. Look at that, C fake path. That is really cool. I like that, very clever. So now when we're at the Shapeways site, it's gonna generate a thumbnail of what it is and it's gonna start checking the printability of this model a little bit here and give you more estimates. Now these estimates should be pretty much spot on of what you're going to get, okay? And at that point you can actually order it. You can update the file if you think it's too big. You want to go, no, I need to go a little bit smaller and I actually want to do an ABS plastic perhaps or something like that. You can make that modification here. I did one earlier of the Adobe building here, which is, you know, you get that little 3D preview. It's very nice. I could update the file to something smaller, but heck, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and make that stainless steel $12,000 model because who needs a car, right? We can do that instead. So this is the kind of look that you get. You get all these different signs here and it's pretty fabulous, pretty fabulous. 
And that is the Shapeways workflow. That's a very quick, if you can call this quick, um, introduction to that. And we'll go into other areas of 3D printing. And if you have any questions, please leave them on the video. And thanks for watching.